Hello, my name is Derek Franklin, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at GoEngineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the Rollback functionality inside of SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. Rollback is a permission-regulated command in Enterprise PDM that allows file history to be undone or rolled back. Often, Rollback is used to undo a release action in the workflow in order to correct a release file, with the intent to re-release the file at the same revision. The act of rolling back a file essentially reverses the file back to a selected point in time from the file's history. The rollback function's primary role is to delete file versions by removing everything that occurred after a selected point from the file history. In addition to file versions, rollback will also delete any intervening revisions and or workflow transition from a file's history. Now, as stated, the rollback functionality is a permission regulated command, so we want to make sure that the user performing the rollback has the proper permissions. So inside of the admin tool, you'll want to go to that user's properties, click on the folder properties uh, tab, and make sure the rollback permission is selected. Now this can be set for the entire vault or the individual folders. Now. In Windows Explorer, I want to look at this clip to part file, as this is the file that I would like to roll back. Now you can see I have five versions of this file, and it is also at a revision C as denoted here on the data card. Now to roll this file back, as I would like to uh, roll it back to revision A, I'm going to select the file inside of Windows Explorer and click on the history command. This will open up the history dialog box for this particular file, and I can see everything that has occurred to that file since it's been in the vault. Now again I want to roll back to revision A so I'm going to select that row and then you will see the roll back button highlight where you can click on it and then you will get a confirmation button just making sure that uh, this is what you want to do but note that all the entities above that selection will be permanently destroyed. So just click yes and now you can see from the history dialog that this file has indeed been rolled back to revision A if I close the history dialog box, I can see, if I look at the data card, it shows revision A, and also it takes me back to version 2, which was equivalent to revision A. So there you have it. This is how we would use the rollback functionality inside of Enterprise PDM. Thanks you for your time. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.